Rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Erica Mena has been caught leaving hate messages, hate comments about her ex girlfriend, Sin Santana, from a fake page. I heard bitch commit sins for Chipotle. But get this, she turned a fake page into a real one. She turned it into her newborn son, Legend Brian's baby page. What? Uh-huh, but she forgot to go back and delete all of her hater comments that she's been leaving over the years before doing so. Uh-oh. But my thing is, girl, why would you even use a troll page as your son's page? Oh, I know. She must don't have any more emails to use. Well, the thing is, the fake page had zero followers before she turned it into her son's page, so she thought nothing of it. Old comments showing up under her son's name did not cross her mind. Now that's a disheveled, oops, I mean disheveled thing to do, don't you think? Real quick, y'all, big up to y'all for correcting me on my mispronunciation of that word in the previous video. Child, it's looking like I need some speech lessons, huh? <laughs> nah, but I love y'all, though. Y'all be cracking me up, for real. You smart mother effers, you. But let's get back to Erica Mena and Sin Santana. Erica's troll account was called Gunna2582, and she changed it to Legend Brian's, which is her son's name, like I said before. So now, all of her hater comments on anybody's page appears to be coming from her son's page. That's scandalous. That's not Gucci. And that's exactly how she got caught. One of the pages she was leaving comments on just 25 weeks ago, they quickly noticed that the person who used to leave them hella comments name changed. And oh my god, it was Erica Mena's son. In these comments, Erica is defending Erica Mena and she's coming for sin. And they were mainly about her. The post was of Erica's tweets that say, the lies really have to stop at some point. I've been publicly bashed because of all the lies this female has made about me throughout the years of filming. What's even worse is that people really believe her BS and feel sorry for her. If you can't be honest, just don't speak on me. What's weird is how this chick continues to lie on me after all these years. If I was hiding in a hotel room, why did I go viral riding a horse? After all, I was really on vacation. Why she simply can't admit that she was stalking my IG, the truth on how she knew my actual location. And big ups to get the scoop for getting the scoop. But um, yeah, let's do a little receipt in there. Here's why Erica was so salty. Erica's here. Oh! Everybody knew about him and Erica at the time. It was hiding in the room. It was weird. I was like, what's happening? Honestly, what Sin said wasn't even that bad. But anyway, let's see what Erica had to say from her fake page turned Sin's page. She wrote, Sin has been lying on Erica for years. She is really lame at this point. And under the post of Erica's tweet, when someone wrote, girl, please, Joe asked Safari and he lied. And he was hiding in a hotel because they didn't see you. The fuck? Erica from her fake page wrote, if she was hiding, why was the video of her on a horse going so viral? Not to mention the post of her actual laid up on the beach with her actual location. Joe was inquiring about Erica because how insecure Sin is. Safari is a grown man. He don't have to speak on the whereabouts of where his girl is to no man. He did the right thing. That's why Sin lonely trying hard to be a singer now. Well, that didn't age well. But yeah, that's why I send Lonely trying hard to be a singer now. And then someone said, you acting like you was there. You a whole fake page with no followers. Wow, if only they knew. She was there. <laughs> so then she wrote, if it's on social media, I don't have to be there. That's all the proof in the world. Because I don't have a photo in my AV means I'm a fake page? Uh... Yeah, you were. But like I always say, it's always somebody real behind every fake page. Then she wrote, I choose not to have followers, just like you choose to be super pathetic and lame. She also wrote, well, if she lied about effing Drake, Fabulous, The Game, J Mills, etc., she can lie about anything. That's exactly what she does. Ooh, wait, Drake? Fabulous. I'm sure she told her ex-girlfriend Erica those things in confidence, but you know what? It's very believable. So let's take a quick look at these receipts. Here's Sin in the throwback Fab video. If you notice the rapper, yeah, who's that? Fabulous. Fuck. Are they fuck? Sir, it's fabulous. That's yes. Are you missing? What? Now here is her in the throwback video of Drake's. Yeah. I say fuck you unless I'm with you. Yeah. 
So why do Erica think she lied? I mean, that's a little weird. I do it because. Uh. But yeah, let's read more of what Erica had to say from her fake page. This person wrote, Erica runs her mouth every time they play these reruns. Like, girl, shut up, crying laughing. Erica said, actually, it was something extremely recent. Maybe you should know what you're talking about before you comment. So yeah, about that. It was something very recent back in January of 2021 it aired of them commenting on some old situations. But let's continue. This person wrote, we don't care about Sin or Erica. Someone under it said it was 09 on the Apple charts when it came out. I don't know what the comment above it says is gone. And then Erica wrote, number nine for a day, maybe, lol, where's she at now? And Erica wrote three nose emojis, you know, representing Pinocchio and said, just pulled up the facts, your lies. This must be Sin over here trying to big herself up wow the audacity whole time that was really erica on the other end though hating on sin mm -mm -mm. so yeah the first comment that we can't see is the person telling her that sin actually charted mm. and when this person wrote is this the only thing erica could talk about to get her some clout this ish is old and i thought they squashed it and made up legend brian's i mean erica wrote you do realize that erica makes headlines all the time and it never has to do with sin it's been like this for years Click Erica's hashtag and then click sins. That will prove everything you just said to be all wrong. The shade. And then under it, someone else wrote, Erica has been out longer than Sin though. She has more clicks on her hashtag because for the longest, nobody could spell Sin's name correctly. And Erica is in drama more often. Ooh. And here's some more of Erica's comments that somebody else screenshotted. She told this person, you must really be stuck on stupid to even think that Erica needs Sin for a headline. Sin can't make a headline unless she's dating someone. Not even her so-called music makes a headline. Just say you're Sin at this point because you are going way too hard covering up the lies Sin loves to tell. Sin can't make a headline ever. Not in her music, only if she's dating. That's where she strikes gold. Other than that, nothing else about her is interesting. You could say Erica's drama, real reality TV stars, no drama brings viewers, but Erica is what made Sin even known. No one would know Sin without Erica. Sin wasn't charting as long as you mentioned and you know this. And the person told her, and you say you're Erica, they meant, and you must be Erica. You are capping way too hard for this girl and putting her on a fake pedestal. Wow, they called it hands down. If only they knew that they were right at the time. That's crazy. But no, seriously, these two together, Erica and Sin, were inseparable at one point. And now this? They were two lookalikes who looked like they could almost be twin sisters, and they were sticking together. They're both Dominican. Erica is Dominican and Puerto Rican. Sin is Dominican and Salvadorian. And usually, Dominicans stick together. But yeah, since being caught, Erica has deleted the whole baby page, because this gotta be embarrassing. And can you imagine? Imagine trying to remember all who you left hated comments for and scrolling through trying to find what you said when you said what you said from years. Nope, not worth it. The next best thing to do is to make a whole new email and create a whole new baby page. She probably won't even be up to it no more. I mean, that might be a good thing. Now she can focus more on her precious baby boy. I'm sure he needs his mama's full attention and TLC. And plus, Erica not gonna have to see too much of Safari partying and you know, living his best life while she's home being a whole mother to his two kids and one. I'm just saying. By the way, it's actual video proof of her leaving all of these comments from her son's page, aka her troll page about sin for those in doubt and like i said before she deleted the page as soon as she was caught so it's gone y'all mm -mm -mm. who would have thought that erica men be out here stooping so low but then again like i said you never really know who's behind any troll account i guess i'm pretty sure these celebrities probably all got one what are y'all thinking though we want to know so leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for more and don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang pettyblog.com I'm signing out.